So Amy Callender has come into beta after being for a while in only alpha and not much news being published about it. In today's video, I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of some of the things that they are releasing inside this application and why it really challenges Daybridge as a potential calendar replacement. So I'm excited to dive into today's video and give you a bit of insight into how this joyful productivity app is going to change the way that social calendar is viewed inside the space. Before we begin, you can check out our application, which is coming out of beta soon. It's called Bento, and it's aiming to help you do less, but more meaningful tasks. You can check it out in the link in the description, and it's a great way to manage those real priority to do's. So this application is aiming to schedule time for to do's, events and contacts, and it's just gone into beta. They actually want to do a fair few things with this application including the likes of not only managing your calendar, but also your tasks. Now, according to their official page, they have released a beta, which means you can do a fair few things, which means you can sign up to the beta today. They also state on the website that you can use your calendar as your to-do, color and code your calendar to organize it, and also uh, plan when anybody's available too and also track what you listen to when, which is a pretty cool function. They've also got the ability to schedule links with other people, and they're also planning more team abilities as well. This application does look really, really nice, and it's got some features like widgets that look really interesting as a new approach to calendar management. It's also got a command bar too, and plans to be available on iOS as well. Now they introduced a really interesting beta launch video where they said that it's going to be part of four products, calendar to do, scheduling link, and also CRM. Now from the designs, it looks visually appealing. And as I said, looks sort of comparable to Daybridge as well. If you're looking at that social aspect of your calendar. Now with a few of the features that he points out is actually scheduling with other people with a scheduling view that looks really nice in terms of organizing a meeting. It's also got some nice abilities to drag across your calendar and change the color coding too. And also planning from a copied event in your history as well too. Something that their founder, Dennis Muller, covers in their, this video. It's also got widgets allowing you to take notes and also see a little items per person, for example, CRM based, to see when you last met that person and also an iOS widget that they're planning. Now this additional video has really helped to give more context to the application. This team is a remote company and they're really planning to change the way that calendars doing things. Now something as well I found that was interesting on the site is they've actually released a little bit about their pricing. It says it's free for anyone and affordable for teams. Apparently their personal plan will include a private calendar one year history and 20 months monthly sharing links as well. You can also get the professional plan, which is free during the beta, but will be $10 per user per month with the team plan, unlimited history and sharing links as well. Now it's really interesting to see how this application is evolving and it's definitely great to see it surface with a few updates of what they're planning. It's definitely looking like this application might be challenging Daybridge in the near future. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed today's video, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up with more of what Amy is doing in the background, you can also check out Bento, which will be linked if you want to join the waitlist in the description below. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Cheerio.